Hi, this is Monty from MPV and welcome to another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals. Wow, well, it's a busy old little village we have in Woodchurch. Only a couple of thousand people live in here, but it seems like everybody seems to be going past me today. I think I'm going to have to do this video because I've been here for about an hour trying to do it. So, let's go back to the car. This is our little Toyota Igo. Um, it's the one litre five, no, one litre mode. VVTi AC, or meaning for air conditioning. Uh, 2014 covered, 51,300 odd miles, that type of thing. So I'm going to briefly walk around the car and give you a more detailed view very short before I get run over. Um, so she is uh, 10 years of age, covered 50,000 miles just over. So what's that covering? About 5,000 miles per year. Eight service stamps in the book. We just had it serviced. We've done a couple of little bits and pieces too, which were. Um, what were we done? A couple of tyres, and I think we've done some anti robot links, something like that. Um, but I think we had it MOT'd. Anyway, when you look at the MOT, I think it will say the anti robot links are still on there, they have been done. Uh, we've replaced the front tyres, and to be fair, they weren't that bad. It's just lack of use of this uh, using the car. So you tend to get a little bit of perishing, a little bit of cracking on the tyres. Still have the tyres, I'll show you what they're like. Um, now this car has only covered about 4,000 miles in the last four years. So what tends to happen to tyres, they tend to perish. You don't get to use the car that often. Um, the tyres, um, it's a bit like probably putting moisturiser on your face really. Um, it's a bit hard to explain it, but we've replaced two of the tyres anyway. I still have the old ones. They've still got like about six and a half, nearly seven millimetres of tread. Uh, but we have replaced them. We've had the car serviced as well, so eight service stamps in the book. Um, really, really cheap to run. They are what, uh, group five insurance out of 50 insurance groups. Um, cheap to tax, zero, which is a great thing. ULES compliant as well. Daylight running lights, which I think you get on the mode model. I don't think air conditioning was standard, but this one has got air conditioning and you've got that extra kind of rev counter in there as well, front fog lamps and a lovely, lovely little car uh, and so ideal for, you know, new drivers because uh, they're just super, super reliable. They just go on forever, these little things. They really do. It's a three cylinder, one litre engine producing about 65, 68 horsepower. So let me just show you a few bits and pieces inside. Okay, all the door panels are all good. Aircon works fine. I've just had that regassed. Well, I say regassed, it was working, but just a little bit low. All the uh, heater functionality works as it should. All of the seats are all fine as well. Full set of mats inside the car. There's that rev counter I mentioned. And I have probably put about 150 miles on the vehicle myself and it's uh, driving spot on it really really does show you the back here apologies the light isn't the greatest hopefully that all looks good for you as well now one thing to look at if you're looking at these kind of igos um, they tend to, they can do, leak water. So I handpick all my cars. I check them over before um, I buy them. And like, you know, things like tyres and... Ah, that was the other thing. Brake discs. Okay, um, brake discs are absolutely fine. They needed to go on as an advisory again because they were on the previous MOT. And the reason they were on there is they tend to go a little bit surface rusty. Again, that's just lack of use, all right? Brakes are absolutely fine. Uh, there's no great big nasty lip on them or anything like that. You've got a slight one, but nothing major. Just didn't warrant us uh, replacing them. It really, really didn't. Now, just to show you what I mean. So if you are ever looking at Toyota Raigo, Peugeot 107, Citroen C1, do these couple of checks. Just make sure the rear, the third brake light, it's all good. Sometimes you get a bit of silicon or mastic around there, so they tend to leak from there. So, touch the headlining. Make sure the headlining is nice and uh, nice and clean, so there's no kind of mould, that kind of thing, and it's dry, totally dry. The other thing to do is check these rear panels, these little things out here as well. All right, what tends to happen is 
round the edges there, they tend to go all green and horrible and mouldy because what tends to happen is you get water running down into these wells here and you'll look in here and they'll be filthy dirty. All right, I haven't gone in there and just cleaned it all up. I've checked this car already. The other thing is check the spare wheel. Not all of them have a spare wheel. This one's got Continental tire on it. Could have probably used one of them actually. Oh, Schoolboy error. <laughs> uh, but normally you get signs of rust in here and God knows what else, but there's nothing like that at all. All right, now not all of these came with a spare wheel. Some of them came with a pump up kit, but this one's got the spare wheel. So just trying to give you a bit of a heads up there. Some people know, some people don't. The other place they tend to leak from is the rear lamps. Just a common thing. But as long as you check them, make sure they've had their recalls done at the main agents, you'll be fine. Now going around the rest of the car, it's all really nice. It, it really, really is. But she is 10 years of age. She's not a brand new car. Um, and you tend to have smaller margins in these little cars like this. You know, it's not a 25,000 pound Range Rover that someone might buy for 20,000. You've got, no, cars like this, there isn't much margin in them. They're lovely car. What do you class as bread and butter cars? They'll always sort of tend to sell. Uh, don't tend to take any part exchanges against these cars because they're normally first time buyers or first time drivers or someone who is, you know, it, it's not really into driving that type of thing. They just need something to get them from A to B. And let me show you inside the back here before this car runs me over. Hopefully that all looks good. And the same in here as well. Now the car will come with a warranty. It's a third party warranty. We use a third party. So if you are local to us, or if you're two, 300 miles away and you buy this car, you can use the warranty at any of that registered garage. Anyone who undertakes warranty work, they'll be able to look after you. If all else fails, you can try the good old places like Halfords and Quick Fix. Man in the Volvo is going to run me over now, so I'm just going to move out of the way again. There we go. So my name is Monty, my phone number is 07525353637. Apologies, I've probably babbled on for a far too long in the video. Now we do not charge you any admin fees, we do not charge you any documentation fees. Uh, please have a read of my reviews on Auto Trader. They're genuine, verified purchase reviews. Customers have bought cars from me. Now I'm not a big dealer. I keep between 15 and 20 cars. That's about manageable for me. Really, I drive every single car just to make sure everything is fine. And I have just noticed, I do need to do a little bit of a touch up on the alloy wheel just there. I have missed a bit, but I'll do that later on. But I just wanted to thank you again for your time. If you are interested in the car, you can always send me a text message, send me an email. We can do the old fashioned way, pick up the phone, dee -dee 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 -dee, give me a call and I'll tell you all you need to know. Many thanks for your time and hope to speak to you soon. Bye bye.